I just finished washing my hands. And so you need four colors. Not really, actually. You need three colors. Like a tan color. I'll list everything in the description box below. But, um, yeah. So you need black, white, and tan. And you, for the eyeballs, I have these little dotting tools. They have different size ends. But you don't necessarily need these if you don't have them. You can use the end of a bobby pin. And it works just the same. The only thing I don't have is clear coat because mine is, I don't know, all the clear coats I get suck and when I do a design and then I put the clear coat over it, it messes up the design. So I don't really use one, but you should just, it'll seal it in. <laughs> the tan color. And paint. At least two coats, even though we cover most of it up with the white bandages going across it. You don't want to be able to see through it. Let it dry and then apply a second coat. These dotting tools are very helpful though because they do come in different sizes. It's fun. They're cute. And I use the outer cover for where I drop the, the nail polish <laughs> to dip the dotting tools in. So why not? It's fine. <laughs> So now that that's dry, I use these two. One is a striper brush and the other one is just regular nail polish. But I like using both because it gives you a different variation of the, the size of the bands that go across. You just take it and turn it sideways and then just go in. It doesn't matter what order or what design, you just do whatever you want. I ended up not using the thicker brush for the thicker bandages as you will see because that brush kind of sucked and it was really streaky so then I just stuck with the thinner striper brush. That white's a little dried out so we can go into this one. like this where it doesn't have to be perfect you can just kind of make it up or be messy Once they're dry, now we're going to go in and do the little black part where we're going to put the eyeballs. And I tend to stay toward the top. And you just draw a line across. Like so. If you get anything on your skin, you can go in with a Q-tip later on and take it off. 
I've done this nail design uh, at least once each year for the past three years because it's so easy and it's so cute. And a lot of times if a design is too busy, I don't like it on every single nail. I just do it as like an accent nail or something, but this one, I love how it looks on all the nails. It's like a squad of mummies. <laughs> okay, so once that's dry, it's time to put the eyeballs on. So I went through my dotting tools and I found this size is probably best for the white part, and then this one's just a little smaller for the little black dot in the middle. So I'm going to take those other two polishes from before, the white and black, make new puddles on here. And then just lightly dip it into the nail polish. And very lightly put your two dots down. It comes to life so fast. These eyes are way too small for a thumb. Then you let this fully dry and use a clear top coat to seal it and then you're all good. It's got little mummies for Halloween. <laughs>